My name is Jeremiah Anderson. I'm 29 years old and I'm the founder of Chaos on Wheels, the bicycle stunt team. I got started doing the bicycle stunt thing when I was in junior high. I wasn't really good at football, baseball, basketball, all that stuff. And uh, um, saw some magazines with guys doing tricks. And for the first time, I thought, hey, I got a bike. I can do that. Dug my bike out of the out of the garage and I started trying to learn new tricks and I just went out in the street in front of my parents house and that's what I did every day after school I just rode my little bike. Every day I just went out and rode my bike. I started a bike shop and tried to make that successful and just always looking for new ways I could use my bike to make me money and get me recognition and try to be rich and famous that type of thing. Got to be 21 years old and I was still living in my parents basement working at a job that I just really hated and and I kinda felt like God was cheating me because I'd been a good person I'd stayed out of trouble and and my dad was a pastor so I'd grown up in the church and thought you know God really kind of owed it to me to help me to be successful at riding my bike because I was such a, you know, I'd done all these good things and been a good person, gone to church, all that stuff. And, and I, I was a failure at 21. I wasn't succeeding at the bike riding thing or the bike shop or any of that. And um, it was kind of at that point, just I really felt kind of at the bottom of everything and just asked God why he was letting me fail. He started to really show me that I was failing because I was doing everything for the wrong reason and I was chasing after success on my own part and not, not chasing after what his will for my life was. I really started to learn what kind of an impact we can make on, on kids and I started doing shows to promote the bike shop. And just from doing those shows, people started coming up to us and saying, hey, can you come do more shows? Can you come do this, come do that? And it just worked out that it just was more fun to do shows and a little more profitable for us to do shows and so that's kind of where I really started to concentrate all my energy is just on traveling and doing that type of thing. So that's when God really started to speak to me and tell me that I needed to use what He'd given me as a ministry, not just as a, a way to make money. I guess as I look back at all my failures, whether it's through trying to get chaos and wheels off the ground or, or just in bike riding in general, you know, I'm like I didn't just one day get on my bike and start riding my bike and get really good at it. I had to fall down and, you know, get back up a few times and, and to learn a new trick, you know, you can fall down and and get hurt and you have to kind of overcome that and in our lives we all have problems, we all have mistakes, we all have failures, you know, things that we do wrong and for the most part we can pick ourselves up, brush ourselves off and kind of try to learn from that but in the in God's eyes we all have like this major failure, it's called sin and, and every one of us sins and in God's eyes we're, we're just failures and there's nothing we can do to fix it. We're kind of like somebody who's laying down at the bottom of the ramp and after they just crashed after a big trick and they can't get up and there's just no way no matter how bad they want to get up and fix themselves they can't and, and somebody has to come pick them up and whether it's an ambulance or a paramedic or what, whatever you know pick them up brush them off take them to the hospital and fix them up and and all of us in God's eyes are that person laying down there at the bottom of the ramp and and sin is just taking over our lives and there's no way that we can fix it. You know, we can try to go to church every Sunday and every Wednesday night and every Sunday night and we can, we can try to be good people and do good things, but really the only way to do it is to let Jesus Christ come down and pick us up and brush us off. And, and through his death on the cross, he really took care of all our failures, all of our mistakes, all of our sins. And, and he's kind of that ambulance or that paramedic that can come down, pick us up, brush us off and, and really fix us up and help us to become all that God prepared us to be.